Hi there and welcome back. Um, so I'm going to do another part in the um, Winter Woodland um, Altered File Folder. So um, what I'm going to do next is the backs of these which I've not attached but I'd wait till um, I've done them. So that will go oh my goodness <laughs> oh why why did i do that oh does that go that way yeah okay so that goes like that and that goes like that anyway <laughs> so i thought i'm going to put one of these uh small damask bags over there and this is still open but i'm thinking if i stick it down it'll obviously then close the envelope up which i want so i'm going to pop those down let's do that let's do that let's do it first um so i will have to make um quite a biggish um journal card or tag to go in there which i will do um another day we have got some uh, smaller tags which I'm thinking will go onto the pockets that I'm going to put on the front of the bag. These bags are, I think they're four by six. Um, I do have these in my Etsy shop and I also have, I think it's six by nine ones. Um, I have packs with um, just the small ones just the big ones and i have some mixed uh packs um so if you are looking for some make sure you read um the title so you order um the right ones because they are separate um listings And I love them. They seem to go with, with absolutely everything. It's the first time I've had any damask bags. They're very um, hard to get in the UK. Um, I ordered mine from America and I ordered them in a large quantity um, <clears throat> because the postage, you know, was, was so high on them that the only way to do it was um, order them in a large quantity so obviously i'm never going to use um you know probably about i don't know <laughs> well over 500 bags anyway so that's those done and then i'm going to open one of the other bags out and make some pockets so i'll just take the bottom off take the side off and I'll take the top off because obviously that's got that ziggy and zaggy stuff on so now we've got <clears throat> um, a piece of damask paper how lovely oh I've actually opened that up then to put it in as a page that way in a journal instead of folding the bag up and putting it in hmm. never uh, not thought about that so I'm going to attach this to a book page and hope that um, that's sufficient for pockets. I'm not going to use all this but I might as well stick it all down. I could cut one up to make some um, journal cards as well. Not to really see if I can get some um, damask wrapping paper. In fact, when I went into um, Nottingham, there's a very nice uh, gift shop. But um, I got a very, very nice uh, gift wrap, which was expensive. It was about £3 a roll. Um, so I might go and go and have a look but um, when I just poked my head in it was very Christmassy in there so I'll probably wait till till after Christmas and thinking about it that paper oh sorry that paper tree um nook where um 
I do an order once or twice a year. I wonder if they've got any damask um, wrapping paper. I'll have to search that because, I mean, they've got a massive um, selection of wrapping paper. Right, so if they're four across, I want to do these four. Like so. How big will that be? Just over four. So I'm gonna, yeah, so they're definitely four across. Okay, um, how big do I want them? Let's go two. So, I don't know if you can see the bottom of that. Two. Shall we go another two or shall I leave it like that? Yeah, I'll do that and then that uses it, it all up, doesn't it? So, if I go two and then that. Right, I am going to want to ink around these because obviously you can see um, a bit of the book page. I'm still doing the stopping the video at 10 minutes um, and then joining them on. Luckily, it's not taking too long um, for them to join together because um, obviously then you've got to upload them. Um, onto YouTube as well, but it's taken about two hours for to join them and get them uploaded, which isn't too bad. Just kind of me. I mean, you can use your phone at the same time, but obviously, obviously, you're just slowing everything down. So, um, I try, you know, not to. So I've got. Um, I've just made a lovely cup of coffee and I've put some gingerbread syrup in it. It's absolutely lovely. And it's about half past three, so Alna will be coming back. Um, it's a Tuesday. I filmed a video earlier. Um, I did the Roxy challenge, which you'll have seen yesterday if you watch um, those. And um, yeah, we'd had some um, new windows and things. Um, so I ended up having to have Colin in with me uh, while Ryan was getting ready for work. He was he's on a late today, so about eleven o'clock he had to you know start getting ready for work. So he won't be back till well, getting on for ten o'clock. Um, so I didn't get that much done um, earlier on. Managed one video, and I've just prepped uh, for this video, and that's it. Um, I've half packed. <laughs> Are you ready? with the Santa train <laughs> I need to finish it off and I need to get <coughs> my orders done tonight because um, I've got a full day um, tomorrow so we're going to the garden centre um, which is well it's in Derbyshire so um, Derbyshire is um, the Peak, Peak District. Um, <clears throat> it's in the, um, oh, what do you call it? Well, it it's one of the national uh, parks. So they have a beautiful garden centre, what we go to every year. So we want to get to that because Ryan works every other weekend. Um, so there's only ever two weekends in, in December and the way that it's fell um, this year 
I think is off one of them and then the following the next weekend is off is actually Christmas um so <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do it on the Wednesday and with Ellen and not wanting to come with us we can obviously go Wednesday while she's at school um so I was saying to him the other day because you know we had <clears throat> quite a few traditions that we we used to do um, every year with with Eleanor one of those was was the garden center and there was four different garden centers <clears throat> that we used to go to I'm gonna start so the furthest being the one that I've just um, said about and the other three was closer to to home and two of them we would do in one go um, so it was like three different trips to the garden center um, and we'd always buy something you know for either the tree in Eleanor's room um, the tree in the front room or the little tree in the kitchen um, so yeah we always bought something I've always bought my cal oh, excuse me my calendar um, from the garden center I've always bought my crackers um, I think I'm going to put something there, but I don't think I'm going to decorate um, that because I just love it. Um, yeah, my crackers, um, candle, I've always bought a candle every year, um, some oil that you put on your Christmas tree to make it smell um, like a, you know, a, a real Christmas tree, and um, yeah, an ornamental or two from from each garden center um so we used to do that every year and we used to make it into you know quite a big well you know not a massive thing but um so we'd take a flask of um hot chocolate take some uh, chicken and stuff in sandwiches um and then we'd buy um I think they, these are going to be too too big. It's not smaller. Not the same. And then when we was in the garden centre, we'd always buy. Um, you know some nice chocolate or um, <clears throat> or if they've got any gluten free biscuits um, so it was like a picnic in, in the car um, and you know seeing all the Christmas displays in the garden centres that we go to they're very very nice they always have different um, it looks different every year um so we've gone once and they'd made an igloo out of plastic bottles which was absolutely amazing and uh, we went one year and um <clears throat> it was a santa's um factory and they'd got all things um like moving around on the ceiling with you know moving boxes around so you know absolutely fabulous so we always did that so that's enough uh, for them and, uh, and obviously i need to make some tags for the back because they're the only two tags i've got left and obviously not long enough so let's find something for on there <clears throat> and then we used to i like that used to uh go to um Sherwood Forest and we would um they always used to have like a, a treasure hunt on um so you'd go to this little desk you'd get this sheet <coughs> um and it'd tell you things to look out for and you'd kind of just tick them tick them off um so you used to walk around the wood and they'd have like um displays and you know things hanging from trees and all that kind of stuff 
Um, I don't know if it's roll that across the middle. You know, that one might look nice. Let's have a look. So we'd go um, and take, take Colin and um, yeah, we'd walk around and find all the things and it, you know, a lot of fun, especially, you know, when Alan was really small. Um, and then you'd go back to the office and, you know, hand your paper in and you'd get, get a chocolate. <laughs> and um, in the middle of the woods, there was Santa. So you'd go and see Santa. I've just put a picture up actually on, <coughs> on Facebook because it's just come up. Um, you know how they come up, your memories. And I think it was seven or eight years ago. Um, <coughs> and we're in with Santa. Um, in his grotto, right, and it was an absolutely fabulous uh, grotto. <laughs> very, very realistic. It was, it was just like you know going into Santa's um, front room. <laughs> nice, cosy chairs. A picture of Mrs. Santa on the fireplace, um, and he was <clears throat> always a very, very good good Santa you know just spoke to the children um you know lots it wasn't a a quick straight in straight out kind of thing um so that was something we used to do um I've always took Elna to um the local light turn on um so they you know put the Christmas tree lights and the lights um, all in the the village outside, you know, the shops and things. And um, there was stores and uh, food, some rides against Santa. <coughs> um, so we, we used to do that. And then um, <coughs> one night um, every year we used to drive around and there's quite a few streets that we've come to, to know and there's quite a few little villages so they've all got you know, their own tree and their own lights outside shops. Love those. Um, <clears throat> what's on that side? So I think on this side, I'm just going to stencil um, them. So what do they... They're in front of the owls, aren't they, these? I'm just thinking, do I want to do them green or brown? But I think I best do them brown... Um, on top of this. So I think first I'm just going to do some um, music. I think I'm going to do that with the stays on and then might try the gold script if I can find it and then I'm going to go over with this and I think I might do that with the distress. Yeah, let's see how we um, get on. I need a brush. Where's the brush? Aha. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so we'd, we'd drive around again, hot chocolate. Um, oh, and obviously when we used to go on the winter walk, it to be hot chocolate and <laughs> chicken stuffing cobs. Um, yeah, so we'd drive around and there would have a blanket in the in the back of the car, you know, a nice furry um, blanket. And we'd drive out all around the streets um, looking at the lights. And then we'd park somewhere and, you know, sit and have a, have a drink. Um, and then, obviously, you know, we've had two years of, of um, lockdowns at Christmas. So nobody was doing anything. Um... And we didn't even go for a drive round. I mean, we mentioned it a couple of times, but, you know, I think we got that used to not going anywhere. Um, I mean, there was times that you wasn't, you know, you shouldn't have really been driving driving around. Um, you know, you could have been stopped uh, by the police. So, yeah, you kind of just got into this, uh, you know, not going anywhere. So, obviously, now Elmer's 14, Um She's not at that age where you can't really see. Oh, you can a little bit. You obviously can't tell it's script, but you um, can see some of the, the gold, which is nice. 
um yeah you know she she didn't want to do those things i mean she went to the the light switch on with a friend um and you know you can't be like oh well, i want you to i want you to come with us <laughs> um as much as you know you'd like to and as much as you think oh i wish they'd turn around and say you know what i'd much prefer going with you we you know they're not going to not at that age um you know when she gets to 15 16 she might then decide they do go through that period again of um kind of wanting to do things with you until you know they then get to 18 and and they just want to be out um doing you know whatever so yeah i was saying to ryan like you know we need to either find something that just me and him do which yeah it's lovely but i don't know it's i don't know i, I mean obviously Alma still lives at home so it's like i would like you know the things to to involve um Alma. um i mean i don't mind missing out on uh, the light switch on because oh my goodness it always used to be absolutely freezing cold <laughs> um so i'm not bothered about not having to go to to that um the garden center like me and ryan will, will just go we won't go to the four we'll probably go to um the one what's quite far away and one what's very close and not bother with the other two um because they're not as good as, as the ones that um, I've just said. So, yeah, we can still do that. Still, obviously, take the hot chocolate. That's not um, a problem. Um, you know, I don't think she's going to come out in the car um, and have a drive round. And, you know, as much as that was lovely, I'm not too bothered about that. But... Um, you know, now we've got into this kind of, well, she's, you know, doing doing her own uh, things. Like she went ice skating uh, with her friends uh, at, at the weekend and she went round uh, the Nottingham Christmas market. Oh, I have put a video um, in the Facebook group as well. I found um, a walk round um youtube video of nottingham christmas market so i've put um the link to that up if anyone's interested so that's that i'm quite happy um with that um yeah and then obviously she went to the local lights we're going to go to the garden center so what we've decided to do is on a wednesday which is ryan's day day off um, there's three Wednesdays in December, so the first one being on the 1st, I'm filming a week in front. Um, we're going to make it into film night. And we always used to do this like at a weekend, so you know if we'd been to the garden centre then we'd come home and watch a film. So obviously because we're not you know, doing those kinds of things. Um, the weekends are just going to, you know, come and go past and it'll be like, oh, we didn't do anything again. So um, I said, you know, we'll start and do and do that. And to make it a little bit more fun, because Ryan does like to pick the films. And if he doesn't want to watch one of the films, he'll just go and sit on the computer at the back of the settee and pretend that he's involved and he's not. Um, so I so said to make it fair, I've wrote his names down. Oh, that's nice. Um, so I'm going to stick these um, onto here. So I was going to have that one on there. And that one on there. No, not. I'm having that one on there, <coughs> like so, or do I want 
no it definitely want it that way so these have already been inked i'm going to take that berry off because it's um you know there's there's no berries on the pines um yes yeah, so the first person who gets picked out we let Eleanor pick them out gets to choose the film the second person who gets picked out gets to choose um the dinner and the third person gets to choose the snacks so elna was the first person out so she's choosing santa claus um <clears throat> Ryan got to pick the dinner and um, he's picked a kind of Christmas dinner. <laughs> thanks, you know, thanks Ryan. Um, so we're just going to have some like chicken breasts and um, red cabbage, um, some green vegetables, stuffing, pigs in blankets, Yorkshire puddings, <laughs> roast potatoes and mashed potatoes. So yeah, thanks a lot for choosing that. And obviously I'm the one who's got to cook it. Um, oh, that's nice. And I got to choose the snacks. So I've chosen hot chocolate with marshmallows and squid cream. You get to choose one drink and two snacks. Uh, and then popcorn and uh, chocolate mints. So like after eights and um elizabeth shaw's um who are the others oh benedict oh i love them so that's that so that's going to start uh tomorrow yeah tomorrow so tomorrow is a is a a full day because um yeah, like I say, we're going to be driving to the garden centre. Then we need to nip to the supermarket and buy these things. And I need to buy some gluten-free snacks just in case when I go on the Santa train. Um, if there's no, you know, gluten-free mince pies, I'll have my own. Um, and that kind of thing. So, and I need to get Ryan some some quick dinners for why I'm not here um, so I'm gonna leave the berry on this one because it's more of a mixed um, picture so yeah I'm gonna get them some pizzas and a microwave dinner because I won't I won't be here on the Thursday and then I'll get back like Friday night so they need two lots of dinners so we need to do that um, I need to post my orders um, and I obviously need to make sure that I'm packed and I've got my clothes out um, to go the following morning. Then I've got that Christmas dinner to cook. And um, <laughs> then we're going to put the tree up. I mean, you know, as I'm saying it, I'm just thinking, how? How is this all happening? Um, they're going to put the tree up and get the lights on while I'm cooking the dinner. And I'm going to get them to get everything out. And when I put my tree away, I always put everything into different bags. So, I don't know, like all my bows are in one bag, all my pine cones are in one bag. So, if they get them out and like put them into piles it will be quicker for me to to decorate so i can probably do that in between cooking and then obviously we're going to eat it watch this film um, and then yeah i shall be going to bed but i'm not going till 10 o'clock the following um morning but i know what i'm like when i'm going somewhere i can't sleep one i'll be excited uh, and two i worry that i won't sleep <laughs> and i'll be tired <laughs> so so yeah yeah i like that <clears throat> so i think that's just um give it a, a bit more uh decoration so really they can now um be stuck down into there i don't think there's any other reason why not and then we turn these over and i've just made these in the roxy uh challenge so if you've not seen that that was yesterday's 
video so I'm going to pop those down there so I need to make two tags or journal cards for in those bags and then I need to make two jumbo ones don't I because I've had them in here um, for the for the front and back and I think that is all that I need to actually make because I think everything else I've I've had um, I've had you know tags for so in here look I've put these can you see um, and I think they're double ones or triple ones triple ones so I've popped those um, in that part so yes, everywhere is is kind of got something apart from the, the two things that I've just said. I've filled these up, but they do need um, an ink round because I didn't ink these. Um, so yes, four journal cards. Um, I need to put something on the back of that pocket and I th oh I need to put the the card down that bit on the the inside and the outside and I think I think that's it I've added extra things in there which I'll obviously see when we do the flip through um but yeah, I do think, I think that's it. So I think we'll have one more um, session uh, tomorrow. And um, yeah, and then I'll do the, the flip through. And then put it up in, uh, in the Etsy shop. I'm hoping because I'm in front with these videos that I'll be able to get me all the Christmas botanical uh, ones finished because I wasn't going to um, video those. Um, I don't even know if I've got enough stuff to be, but see, I've got those pages, so I need to look what I've still got printed out because I really don't want to get print anything else out. I mean. I'd rather keep those pages till next year if it means having to print some more things out. So that's going to go there. So that's that. That's that. They're done. Oh, I need something there. So I don't want to have any more uh, bulk. So I think it's just going to be... Um, you know, a thingy. That's a nice size one that is. I bet I haven't got another one. Sorry, uh, that size. Oh, no, it really needs to be the other way. Yeah, I mean, this is all the brown stuff uh, that I've got left. So, I mean, you know, there's nothingness. See, I don't want to use that because it's it makes it odd. <laughs> makes it odd. I'm so I don't mind using it on one of these, but I don't want it on um because I want them to match. Because I start this, you know, oh let's be matchy matchy and then um I mean I could have a circle. Oh, I really like that. Let me see what I've got in my red stuff. I did separate um, the stuff so I wasn't having to keep um, going through this. That kind of size is good. Well, that's, that's too big, isn't it? Mm, I don't know. I I mean, I could add ink to those to use. 
And I've got to put those on. I quite like those. Mm. I don't think I've got any little uh, tags left. They're the same size. If you can see what I'm doing, I hope you can. Otherwise, it's a bit rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit rubbish. Um, I like that one too. I've got those, but I was going to use those for if I do the red um, journals. Still looking. I think I've got another small tag in the in the brown ones. Right. Oh, they're tabs. I've not used any of those. Might use those for the um, <coughs> ones I'm putting in the bags. So I think I'm not going to go for those. I'm going to stick those down. Can you even see this? It's getting big now, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to stick this down. Like so. And I'm going to just put some glue either side of that and I'm just going to catch catch that like so let's ink this up and pop that in that and pop that in uh, yeah so, so that's that let's find that other little tag that I had Come on, show yourself. Yeah, there it is. Right, so let's go across here. Lost my glue. Let's cut this down. I'm going to stop. Okay, I think this is going to be a longer one because I think I've stopped it three times so we're at least at 30 minutes but I've nearly nearly finished I didn't want to push me luck and um and that part not not film right do I want this longer one or do I want this smaller one I think I'm gonna want the smaller one so I'm just gonna put a bit of glue either side and then just just catch the bottom so it's not difficult to get the thing in and out right this wants a bit of an income it's already inked I, think. I love it that side they look very green don't they <coughs> let's um, swap one one out that's it right so that is that so that doesn't need anything i did say i think i'm going to put a label on so let's have oh i've got some brown ones here let's have a look at labels i have been wanting to use this one and i really want to use this one Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, because no, I don't like that like that. Let's, um, let's have another look. Got that one. Oh, look at that. Oh, I really wanted to use that one. Mm. 
Yeah, I think I'll go for that. Okay, okay. So we'll get those down. That's the right way. Oh, it goes that way. Oh, I like it better that way. <laughs> oh dear me. That was probably why I thought it looked a little bit odd. Got some dry glue stuck to the end of my finger. You've probably seen it. I bet you're going, yeah, we know, we know. It's been hanging there and it's been getting on our nerves. Right, it's gone. It's stuck to my other finger now. Right. So that's that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Tony, why didn't you think where you wanted it before you... Oh, you put glue on that. Right, that's that one. Oh, I like those. So then that. Then I'll stick those down, but I'll do those off camera because... It's not really interesting. And we've got those um, William Morris postcards in there. I think probably, do we want a label on these? Do we want a label what's got a picture on? I think maybe. That's nice there. Because I've pulled that out a couple of times now. Oh, and we've got that one there. Oh, I like that. Let's just have another look. Let's just have a look. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for that. They have both been inked. Now, do I want to go at the top and at the bottom? Do I want to go at the top and the bottom? Yeah, I do. I don't know why, but yeah. I don't know what the difference was. So yeah, I think after I've finished this, I will have a look at what I've actually got um, to do another light red um, botanical. Very much like the other one that I've just done on camera, but um, the fabric that I bought was, was more red, so that's why I'm calling it a red botanical. So that's that. Is that straight? Yeah. Okay. And the clothes. Not made my mind up if we have anything on the back. I don't think so. But obviously we need the, the journal card top and bottom. So it's um it's beginning to, to chunk up. So I still need to see if we're going to have one journal in or two. Or oh, I do need to collage that as well. So actually I think... I'm going to do the cards off screen because I'm not doing anything fancy um, because one, I don't want any uh, thickness. So if I do those off camera and do the strip there and inside and then uh, we'll do some collage and um, do, the, do the covers. Yes, we'll do that. But yeah, as you can see, I'm, I'm nearly out. Um, I've got these, which these are more reds and greens. I'm not saying that I can't use them in this, because obviously I can. Um, but yeah, not a lot of stuff left at all. So thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.